Uh, my name is Denton Jackson. I'm the inventor of the DLJ tool. It's for switching. It's nothing like this has ever been built. It's a must-have tool. It's a tool for helping restore power, get power on faster, helping linemen get switches open, closed, fuse barrel hanger, putting conductors back onto phases, or on to, putting conductors back onto insulators. It's just a must-have tool. You can raise conductors, get it out of trees. Uh, it's a lot easier to hit the rings on the switches to open them up and hold wire up, get wire out of trees when you're re trying to resag wire. It's just an absolute all-around good tool. Also, you can set limbs in here if you're getting your conductors up on snowstorms, ice storms, and you can put it in the bottom part of this little V here and twist them and break them off at the point and clear your conductors up and restore power faster. It's a win for the linemen, it's a win for the power companies, and it's a win for the customers. It's just a win all the way around. This tool, first ice storm, snowstorm, windstorm, hurricane, this will pay for itself for the first storm. And don't get caught without it. And we're going to give a little demonstration of some of the parts of what it does. This is a little finger here. It's kind of short. We shortened it down for holding, for hitting the rings easier. The V here originally was designed for the cutouts to clear the bottom part of the switches, rehanging the fuse barrels. We found we can hang wire in here, re put conductors in. The tooth goes over the top of the fuse barrel, helps hold it onto the tool. And here's the fuse barrel hanger here. And this will give you a little demonstration of how some of this looks and what you can do with this tool. Here we're gonna give you some minor little demonstrations of how this works on the fuse barrel. The lima can run it up here against the fiberglass of the barrel, run it to the top of the nut, twist it and hit the rings. That way you're not trying to guess whether you're up or above or below, but you got a reference point and high winds. You can keep this against the, the fuse barrel itself so you're not coming off a lot easier to hit faster there. Also, this is the fuse barrel hanger, how it works. It comes in right here holes over the top gives you points here to help hold it onto the tool also what you can do is when you're hanging this fuse barrel sometimes fuse barrels need to be kicked out some for for setting them you can do that with this tool you can uh, put your phase in here and pick it up and also if you need to come in on the front it's bigger finger if you want to kick it in like this this isn't the preferred method, but it will work for taking your fuse barrel down also. Also this too, you can reset your hotline clamps after taking them off. Sometimes that's kind of hard for us out in the field. You put it in the V here next to the clamps. You can twist them as you need to and set them back on the stirrup and come off that way. It's another little handy feature. It's real handy. On storms, when we're getting wire back up in the air, sometimes we'll have limbs on the lines. Uh, kind of you have to clear them up, keep taking your line out, otherwise you have to go back and cut the limbs or try to break them somehow or another. This top too, you just put it in the, the limb in the slot on the edge, you twist, break the limb off, you can clear your conductor and increase your reliability time for getting your lights back on. Running in conditions where your phase is off your pole, you need to put it back on the insulator. It's real good for this. Just catch it in the V, hold it in there, take your stick, Set it back on your conductor and you put it back on your insulator. I also have a tie wire and we'll give you a little demonstration of what the tie wire looks like. It can be retied back in. Here we're going to show how we can take a tie wire and retie this in. It's not the easiest thing, but it can be done in inaccessible areas where you have damaged poles or, or rotten poles and you need to recontie the duct conductor back in. Uh, gives you a way to do it. Kind of like the old hot ties, you just run this up, come on the back side of your conductor. You'll take two sticks to do this, but you can hold, one stick holds it up here, another stick grabs the loop, ties it in, and then tie this side in, and you tied your conductor in. It can save hours curling outage for restoring power. Here we're gonna show hanging the fuse barrel, how it works, hanging in here. Wiggle and twist. Close your switch back in. Do it this way or this way. 
Then we'll show how you can come in. You run your extendo stick up. Come in, hit your ring on your fuse barrel. Open it up. Come back in. Grab it. Pick it off. Also, when you do this, this is where you can take it and make that fuse barrel kick up for angles. When your fuse barrels have to be cocked a little bit, it's one of the best things ever built for that. One way I want to show, I think this is a good way for removing the fuse barrel. The tooth on top kind of helps hold it in place. We come in at an angle, come over, and then twist up and come out. It's a good way to come in and out of your hanging your fuse barrels. Here we're demonstrating, you got a cable, low cable, you need to get your bucket trucks under there to work, or you need to get equipment, bulldozers, track hose, gas companies, or telephone companies need to raise their cables up. You take this too with your extendo sticks, take this, set them up, hold your cables, give you clearance enough to clear your equipment need to come under the line, or anything you need to do with it. Great too for that. This is equivalent to 4 all underground cable, which uh, 336 is probably the max it'll fit in there for lifting. But uh, thank you very much and for your time, and have a nice day.